Stakeholders have called for a review of the sexual harassment bill being sponsored by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovi Omagege, and 106 other senators. They say there is need to expand the bill to include sexual harassment in workplaces, markets, and even religious places of worship. Our correspondent, Amadin Ui, reports. It was a webinar organized by the Network of Reproductive Health journalists to review the ongoing sexual harassment bill being sponsored by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ove Omoagege, and 106 other senators. Stakeholders say the bill defines sexual relationships between students and lecturers in tertiary institutions. Any relationship between a student and a, an educator or a lecturer that leads to sexual relationship, it cannot be uh, 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 legal simply because the, the, the student consented. However, the continued opposition by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, brought out mixed reactions from participants at the webinar. What we find objectionable is a situation in which uh, things are happening all over uh, universities or higher institutions, or tertiary institutions as we call them here, yeah. uh, singled out for pumeling, and it is as if uh, that is the uh, that is the haven or a breeding ground for sexual misbehaviors. It's really unfortunate because this is an opportunity for us, and I think that they are missing that that opportunity. You know, to, to show their solidarity with their students. Because this is one of the first times that the students are asking for solidarity from everyone. And what the National Assembly has done is to provide that solidarity to the students. The academic community have for a long time carried on with so much impunity. A lecturer can tell a student, let's see how you will graduate. And I can assure you that student will not graduate. Some students present express their opinions on a bill based on their own experiences in the universities. Like me, it took me time before I could come out of it that I don't think any man can want to marry me because of I've been deprived of my right. I, I think the bill is giving one thing with one hand and it's taking it back with another hand. There can be nothing like mutual consent between uh, a student and a lecturer because in actual fact, um, the levels, how they stand, they start in a place so, they're not on equal footing. Participants concluded by calling for a review of the bill to include sexual harassment across board. We have sexual harassment in different places, place of in the place of work, in the uh, in the community. I told you, I gave you the example of in the market, everywhere you go. So how you know? I would have loved to see a sexual harassment bill that is all-encompassing, that criminalizes sexual harassment across board. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.